Yesterday we did our annual Futures Day. Normally we do that in November. Um, obviously, uh, because of COVID, we had to move some things around. And I want to recognize Mrs. Moore because behind yesterday goes a lot of planning. And it all really falls on her shoulders to contact all the different places where we go, arrange for transportation, arrange for lunches. Um, and it really is a huge undertaking to empty the school for a day. And I just want to recognize her in front of everybody and say thank you. Because it, it, it was a great day. Alrighty, I want to start, and hopefully these two students are here, but uh, would Harley Pomerlo and Lila Tuphill come down, please, and be recognized in front of your peers. Alright. So last week we had uh, a staff member have a medical situation out front, and I want to recognize Lila and Harley for stepping up, realize that this individual needed some help, and they just did what was right. They did what was natural. They got off the tech center bus or didn't get on the tech center bus. They went over and helped this individual come into school to get some uh, much needed medical care at that point in time. So just want to recognize you both in front of everybody and just say thank you for being great. Good job. You guys can go back. So at the Winter Carnival Assembly, we recognized some students that were going to be going to the state competition skills event. Well, I'm proud that I have the results right here. And I want to recognize them. And uh, as I call up your name, why don't you come up here and, and get your huge round of applause. But earning the bronze medal, Brooke Cunningham for Health Occupations Portfolio. Earning the bronze medal for state t-shirt design, Elijah Huber. Brooke, you can come join me right here. This way your mother can see you on camera. Earning a bronze medal for television video production along with their partner from Mesolonsky, Nick Weiss. Earning a bronze medal for wedding cake decorating along with their partner from Mesolonsky and Waterville, Colin Laddie. Good job, bro. Thank you for being here to be recognized even though nobody else is. All right, now on to our state gold medalist. For photography, gold medal, Dan Whitman. Dan also got another gold medal with his partner from Waterville for digital cinema production. So that's two gold medals for Dan. And last but certainly not least, for mobile robotics, state gold medalist along with his partner from Mesolonsky, Steven Spencer. Good work. Now a huge round of applause as they go back to their seats. Great job. So now, Stephen will be moving on to Nationals, which is in Atlanta this year, correct? Good luck. And Dan, as well. Mr. Burgoyne, are you here? All right, you have to stand here, apparently. Thank you. Each year, the National Interscholastic Swim Coach Association of America uh, recognizes all American swimmers. This honor is quite prestigious considering there's over 350,000 swimmers throughout the nation. Only 2% are given this honor. We have an all-American amongst us. Let's congratulate Emma Farnham.
Great job, Emma. Get him up. Woo! Alrighty. So usually I like to keep this one a secret, but um, as soon as I start talking, the person's going to know who they are. So eh, we'll still try to keep it a secret, I guess. So the student of the month for this month is as kind as they come. This fall, she took on the role of stage manager for the Winslow Drama Fall production and took the time to introduce herself to all of the new students, then checked in periodically to make sure they were doing okay. When Mr. Manessis was looking for help with the junior high drama program, she immediately volunteered and offered her kindness to seventh and eighth graders involved. When Mr. Baldock passed away in December, she again made the rounds, checking in on her friends and asking teachers if they were okay. Her heart is so big, she deserves the recognition of being Student of the Month. So Raider Nation, join me in congratulating Haley Martin as the newest Student of the Month. Seniors, stay put for a quick staff, uh, not staff meeting, uh, class meeting. Everybody else, head back to homeroom. Have a great day.